Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. I do have a question for you that doesn't have a ready answer. The question has to do with who you are. As you go through your day, you'll hear thoughts and you'll act on some of those thoughts. You'll get an idea and that will lead to some action. And then you'll hear yourself, if anyone asks you, repeating a story about who you are and what you've done and what your past is. And that'll include your opinions and your beliefs. And all things considered, you can get pretty busy just doing your life, reacting to things, following your thoughts with actions, feeling what you feel. My question is, who would you be if you were none of those things? Who would you be without those thoughts? Who would you be without your story, without your history of how you got here? Who would you be were you not doing what you do that you identify with? Who would you be? If you let yourself stay present to that question, you will lose some of your identity with your thoughts and your actions and your beliefs and your story. And begin to witness yourself and from that place of a witness, let yourself just be the awareness of all these things. The awareness of your judgments, the awareness of your story, the awareness of your feelings, the awareness of your identity. And just reside in that. Let yourself just be. To disengage. From all of your beliefs. And just be aware that you have them and you see them and you feel them. But more and more to be awareness itself and see what that feels like. Notice what happens. Notice how all these other things take their place inside of your awareness. And they lose their significance. They lose their importance. They lose their dominance. And can be seen for what they are.
Who would you be if you weren't your story? Who would you be if you weren't these thoughts? Who would you be if you weren't your feelings? Who would you be if you weren't your body? If you weren't all your memories, who would you be? I think you will realize that you will not disappear. They do not represent the sum total of you. Who you are subsumes all of these things. With love. They don't need to be made wrong. They just need to know their place. Who you are allows for all of it. And that's your choice. You can identify with any one of these things or all of them, but you can also identify with existence itself with awareness itself and let yourself be that lovingly. To the outside observer, nothing has changed. But your experience will be quite different. Just leave that question open. Who would I be? Who would I be without all of these things that I'm so closely attached to? And stay present to that. Inside of that awareness is everything you seek. It's the goal of all your actions and all your thoughts and all your feelings and all your beliefs. Just awareness itself. Notice how you feel when you release those things and just let yourself be aware. From that place, it's only natural that you would love all of it because it's all you, but it's not your identity. Rest in your awareness. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.